Hank and Swing, 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 if you're new, go ahead and do me a huge favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more future videos that your boy gonna bring your way. Yeah, you know I mean, but as you can see, as a thumbnail, you can see, yeah. Gonna do a little different review today, man. And as you can see, you got the little latest hat on, man. You know, I had to bring back the 2020 Bubble Rain Championship hat. You feel me? But this is video that I'm about to review. So let's go ahead and dig on into it, man. Got a little package that came in. A little jersey. I ain't do a little jersey review in a long time, man. Maybe about two or three years. I think the last review I did on a jersey was Zion Williamson, the Pelicans jersey. Or a Duke jersey, one of them. So um go ahead and bring one back and get it in. So this is my first time opening up this package here. And I feel I wanna do it with y'all so we both can get a little look at it at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that purple looks good. Up in there. That purple looks good. This right here is your LeBron James, man. With the six. With the six, six, six. This is uh, the city edition, man. Lakers jersey. As they call it now, the mixtape edition, you know? They ain't calling it jerseys no more. It's a mixtape, you feel me? <laughs> I don't know why, but hey. They like it, I love it, I guess. You did. But yeah. It's like a different kind of purple. It ain't like the official type purple of the Lakers, you know? It's like a maybe a brighter type purple, or bluish purple, or something like that, man. But I'm digging it, though. You know, I'm digging it. And they got that blue trim up in these. Lakers and that see I like thinking that blue trim man. I think they just added like the blue trim and not too long ago. And this special jersey right here, City Edition, was they dropped this last year, I believe. 2021 last year, November last year, I, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, man. But yeah. Let's go ahead and look at this here jersey, man, and see what's happening, man. Then I'm gonna throw it on. Let's get it, let's go. So here we are, good people. First, I'm not gonna see her act like I know a lot about jerseys because I don't. I've never been a huge jersey fan, but if I can get my hand on one, then hey, I'll rock it. You know what I'm talking about? But um, go ahead and check this thing out, man. I don't know if it's gonna show real good in the camera because I'm doing it outside in the sun, but let me know in the comments, man, how the quality is. If it's bad, I apologize. If it's great, then I guess we'll do another one, man. Other than that, man, Check at that purple though and that blue. They pretty much complement each other very, very well, man. The quality is great. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You got that shiny Nike check up there. And it's glistening, you know? And you got the patch on the other side. But Vigo, you know what I mean? I guess that's like the sponsor of the Lakers. So all jerseys I really don't know, man. I know. Last jersey I seen had like a wish on that side. And I seen other reviewers, man, that review this jersey here. Most of the authentic jerseys or whatever don't have that little the big old patch on that side. But then I had to do some more reviews and more, you know what I mean, research. And I heard that if you order your jersey like straight from the Lakers website, it'll come with that little patch right here. If not, then you won't have it. Some other companies do have it like that, like the jersey I got this from. I have the uh, details and stuff in the description, man. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, you know what I mean? I'll give you some more details about this, where I got it from and whatnot, man. Well, let's check out the bottom of it. Then we're gonna jump up out of here. Got the Lakers Dynasty City Edition right there, you feel me? 75th anniversary. They got the swing man up on that thing. Yes, sir. I seen something on here. Dry fit. I guess they put a jersey to uh, keep you the shirt from being too wet or showing your sweat or whatnot. I really don't know. Y'all let me know what that really means. Dry fit. 
Check out the back, got the King James on the back with the two, the two stars on the side, you know? And you got that MJ logo up on the back too with that little shiny, glossy looking material up on that thing stitched in. Yeah, and you got your little tags that I'm gonna rip off. You got like three different tags up on this thing. Bree, Nike, Bree fabric, dry fit. Okay, they got the dry fit shit right there so I can read about that and see what it means. Smooth sweat from your skin, features highly breathable construction to help you stay dry and comfortable. Dope, 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 yeah. But let me know what y'all think, man. I'm loving this quality on this jersey, man, it's dope. Rather it's authentic or if it's replica, it looks damn, damn good to me, you know? But I'm gonna go ahead and throw this thing on us and see how it look on me. This is also a size medium, man, so I'm not that big or whatever. I'm only 5'8", so see how this medium look on me. I got that dad bod too, you know, I got a good. <laughs> but let me know what y'all think in the comments below, man. And if you enjoy my review, go ahead hit that thumbs up and subscribe, man. Hank and Swain ENT right there in with the IG. Hit me up. And I'll catch y'all on the next one, man. Y'all be good. And if you can't be good, be good at it.